Hi, Taurus. Thank you for being here with me, you guys. Sorry I missed you yesterday <clears throat> for Christmas. I, my intentions were to do your reading for Christmas, but um, I got stuck at the airport. Okay, hold on a second, you guys. Looks like you guys are... Um, busy doing several different things right now. According to those first two, the first few cards that just fell out. But let's see what's happening in your energy. It is December 26th, 2022. And I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for um, sending me all the beautiful Merry Christmases and comments and all the love. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on in your energy today, what you need to know. Whenever you're viewing this video is when you're meant to receive these messages. <clears throat> This will be your today whenever you're watching this. Spirits, what's going on with Taurus? What are you doing, Taurus? You got the world. That's a really good first card. There's been an accomplishment here. And you're um, ready to step into a new world. Going into 2023. Things are going to be different. They're not going to be the same anymore because I see you moving ahead. Again, this is an accomplishment, something that you've accomplished. Success is here. You're moving into a different, different place in your life, and I feel like you're kind of keeping to yourself here because you're showing up as the Seven of Swords, but there's something here that you're not expecting that's about ready to happen. It could have recently happened for some of you. You have the tower. And then in the center of your reading, you have the ten of wands. See, so like, there's something here that's going to end unexpectedly, but there's still this determination to carry, carry it with you. And I'm not sure what's going on yet, but we'll find out as we go through your reading. And then you have the Seven of Cups. This is a lot of options. You know, there's many options to let go of something here that you're fighting an uphill battle over. And then you have the Ace of Cups. So this could be new love, but we'll clarify coming into the future. And then we have the hangman, Pisces energy. And you have the seven of wands. Hmm. You're looking at something differently here, Taurus. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Fool, Aries energy. And you have the Hermit, Virgo energy. As you're entering into this new world, this new cycle in your life, I'm feeling like um, there's this energy. You have the Nine of Pentacles, so I'm seeing you looking differently. There's something that is very charming about you very attractive with the nine of pentacles why is the world here yeah i see you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles the three of swords and six of cups hmm there's an argument that took place here or some type of a conflict that's showing up as the five of wands that has caused, um, you know, some suffering here with pain. 
and this is a soul connection that's showing up here in your reading. Um, you're showing up as this Queen of Pentacles, though, with the world. So I'm seeing, I'm getting two different things here at the beginning of your reading. I'm seeing pain from a soul connection, but I'm seeing your money being really, really good. Um, your material world. There's some building upon it where there's been some um, energy here with the world where you have gotten victory, success, crossing over the finish line. Um, and this is something that you're earning. There could be a lot of competition with what you're doing because the Five of Wands is showing up again. And I'm seeing you here stepping out of your comfort zone. You might be doing something a little bit different here, but you're in a very, very attractive energy right now, Taurus. And then you have the Seven of Swords. I'm feeling like there's something here with the Seven of Swords that you're keeping to yourself. Why is the Seven of Swords here? You have the Lovers. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Four of Pentacles. And you have the King of Pentacles. So you have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Something here about you and an, you and another person showing up here. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? I feel like there's someone here that's holding on to you, Taurus, that doesn't want to let go of you. And they're showing up here as the Nine of Wands. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, sorry you guys, he had to come in because it's cold out there. Okay, so this person that's holding on to you is showing up here as the Nine of Wands. So they don't want to give up. The Nine of Wands energy, this is someone whose head is bandaged up. Um, they do have walls up around them, but they don't want to give up. They're feeling this closeness to you. But the next card you have here is you have the tower. So something within this connection is going to change that you're not expecting. Why is the tower here? And this tower could have already occurred for some of you. This person might be in jail, I'm getting. But they're feeling stuck in their, in their head about you. And they're showing up as someone who's manifesting you. And we have the Knight of Swords. You could very well hear from this person, Taurus. Because they're showing up here is the knight of swords like they got something to say why is the knight of swords here yeah see here they are as a messenger oh and i feel like it's going to surprise you 
This person's going to show up out of the blue. They're feeling, they've been feeling stuck in their head about you with the Eight of Swords. Um, but they're, they're about ready to drop a bomb or say something here to you. Why is the Ten of Wands here? You have the Five of Pentacles. There could be something here that is burdening you when it comes to your money for some of you with the Five of Pentacles showing up. Like you could feel like you're fighting an uphill battle with the Ten of Wands and your money. But there's a person here that could have ghosted you or you ghosted them because of an argument here with the Five of Swords. It was a very, very cold, cold argument. I mean, some words were spoken here that shouldn't have been spoken. And then we have them showing up here with an emotional offer. So whatever message this person's going to say to you, I'm seeing it showing up out of the blue when you're not even expecting it. And they're showing up here as the Knight of Cups. So they're showing up here with um, something kind, kind words to say to you that's going to shock you. And then you have the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, so you have another Seven, the Seven of Pentacles. I'm seeing confusion in your energy about this person. And you're looking at other options. You're letting it go. It's like you have a lot of other options here, Taurus. And this person is showing up here as, as they're bringing a cup to the other options that you already have. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, this person... Um, it's like they're waiting for you. They're waiting to hear back from you. They could send you a message, like text message or internet message. And I see them here waiting to hear back from you and being like up late at night, try, having a hard time sleeping, waiting for a reply and feeling regret. And then you have the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Two of Swords, Strength, Leo Energy, and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Seeing someone here that has love for you, they're wanting to offer you this Ace of Cups. See, this person shows up as the Queen of Cups. And there's no gender in tarot, but this person um, is trying to make a decision here. And it's very difficult with strength showing up on, you know, what to say to you. It's very, very difficult for them to hold back and to keep quiet. But they feel blindfolded. They feel like um they don't know what to say and then we have the hangman i'm seeing you not taking action here and hangman well let me see why is the hangman here okay so you have the knight of wands yeah if there's a situation here where there's no closure um, I'm seeing this person, even if you're not taking action, I see this person taking action and wanting equal give and take care with you. 
Cats might be a fire sign, but they want they want this equal get, give and take with you, Taurus. It's like here they are again waiting, waiting to hear from you. And this may be uh, someone at a distance from you. But there's this energy of waiting and holding back. From this person because I'm seeing you here it's like you're feeling defensive guarded why is the seven of wands here you have the ten of pentacles the hierophants this could be someone that you were married to it's coming back around again they keep holding out their cup they keep wanting your love whoever this is they want your love they want to put the work in. Um, we have the Hierophant and the, and the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants marriage. They want to have it all with you. But I can see you here. It's like you've set boundaries. And this person's energy makes you feel defensive. So let's see what's going to happen here because... We have the fool and the hermit here. So I'm seeing someone that you have very little communication, if any at all. Some of you don't have any, any communication from this person right now. But I'm seeing them taking a leap of faith and coming out of hermit mode. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Look at them handing you your cup. And I told you, see, they're handing you their cup, the Page of Cups, and here you are, Seven of Swords. You don't want this person to use the swords to stab them in your back again. So it's like you're sneaking away. Or this is just simply someone that you have no interest in. See, you're the one in control here. You're showing up as the emperor. Wow, this is marriage for someone. Someone watching me, this is a marriage. We have the emperor and the empress. What's going to happen here, spirits, with the emperor and the empress? Why is the emperor and the empress here? Nine of Wands. I feel like um, you're both feeling exhausted within this connection and healing with the Four of Swords. Neither one of you want to fight anymore. An ending death. But is this ending a rebirth or is this a literal ending here? This person, they might be a Cancer, but we have the Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. So, this energy, this person that's thinking about you a lot with the Six of Cups um, is showing up here very broken hearted and making a move towards you here. And so that's why on the bottom of the deck we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is going to come back around again. You know, and this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning is going to present itself. But um, it's going to be different for all of you whether you take this person back or not. Because there's different circumstances. I'm feeling like you don't trust this person. There's a trust issue here. And then you have emotions are running high. Super moon. And don't let your past hold you back. South node. So don't let this person hold you back. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. 
you could have a vision of this new world, this new cycle happening in your life, and this person is not in it with you. And then you have luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. And you are taking a leap of faith into um, the unknown with the fool. It's like you're getting ready to jump off a cliff here. So be, be cautious as you proceed. But you are entering into a brand new cycle, a brand new chapter in your life, Taurus. I see someone has a dog with them. All right, so these are the messages spirits have for you today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture, Taurus. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.